How many of you want to or have launched your own brand? Yes, 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 perfect, fantastic. Um, all right, so make sure to go give love to the people who are yearning for your contact, right? If you're not in, um, if you're not in New York City, it probably means that you're not necessarily getting the, uh, getting the uh, brand attention that everybody in Brooklyn and Manhattan is, right? And you need it, you want it, right? And it's super, super fun to be able to engage with people that often get left out of the party despite the fact that they have phenomenal bars and restaurants and have a lot to offer, okay? And, and also, they try really, really hard to be on the level of everything in New York even if, uh, even if they don't get written about all the time, right? So giving love to the great um, and, and exciting bars and restaurants outside of Manhattan, outside of uh, primary markets is super duper crucial and a great pleasure as well. Uh, so where buyers in uh, primary markets are, are smothered with attention, uh, they get the next cool thing all the time, uh, secondary markets have, often have to look for it and seek them out. So we, we can be the people to go and find them. Uh, when you do explore a market, you can make the biggest impact uh, possible if you work with a distributor, and I often fail at this, by looping them in, right? So in New York, I work with Southern Wine and Spirits. In, in New Jersey, in my backyard, as well as our backyard here, uh, I work with Fedway. Uh, I go out and work uh, a market like Bayonne, for instance, a, a place that has some really great uh, on and off-premise accounts for something like Rockies. I often make the mistake of not looping in my distributor, and I miss an opportunity there to really get momentum going, both on the distribution side and on the retailer side, right? So make sure that if you are working the market, you're activating your sales force, activating your distributor. Uh, very important. Uh, if you do have a distributor market, uh, don't expect them to sell your stuff. And I hear this all the time. For those of you who've raised your hand and you've already launched a brand, for those of you who raise your hand and you're thinking about it, don't expect them to actively be on the market, pounding the pavement, talking about your stuff exclusively. Why? Because they have a ton of other stuff. They have a ton of other people to represent. They're the conduit to get you in the door, but they're not necessarily going to bang that, do that door down for you, right? Make sure that you are, you are uh, being the person to activate conversations, but don't expect them to do it for you. And as soon as, the sooner you can let that go, the sooner you can be at peace with that, the better, because it will save you a lot of time and heartache in the future. Um, collaborate with other brands. There are other brands in this room that I've spent a lot of time building relationships with, and that has been some of the most um, satisfying and exciting work that I've certainly done, especially over the last 18 months, whenever we were all kind of drifting in, in this abyss, right? So working with spirits like Barking Irons, Applejack, working with spirits like Barrow's Intense Liqueur, other craft brands, small brands, local brands, working, with, uh, working together with each other has been immensely, immensely helpful, right? You are greater than some of your parts whenever you unite together and move into market as a force, right? You travel in a pack, you definitely have more power and more, uh, more influence, right? And the relationships of one person open up doors for the other brands. This cannot be overestimated. It is so, so important. Work with other brands. Sometimes I find that people get very territorial and they push other brands away. That is a great mistake. If you, uh, if you identify people that are jerks, of course don't work with them. But find other people that are collaborative, doors will open for you.